Hey, it's Mr. Bass. I really love fishing tackle. I love doing unboxings of fishing tackle. Uh, everything about it, I just really enjoy. And I really like the bento boxes from the hookup tackle. Normally, I can't get my hands on them because they're usually part of a subscription service that I've never been able to, uh, just the timing, I've never been able to, to find them in stock. But sometimes they have overstocks. And so on their November run of their uh, bento box, they had some extras, so I was able to pick one up. So let me show you what was in it this month. Now this thing costs 99 bucks, 100 bucks really. And they say you got 100 bucks value for, for the box. Also, I believe, I may not be 100% correct on this, but I believe that they always have uh, some sort of a Vision 110 jerkbait in there. And also usually a Pop Max that's some sort of a special color. Might not have that completely right, but I think that is the, the way they do it. You will usually find that almost all the products in here are JDM products, though. Uh, First up is the Mega Bass Bottle Shrimp 3-incher. This is Light Water Melon. And you can Ned Rig this. You can put it as a jig trailer. It's small, uh, you know. So this is going to be kind of used more for finesse techniques. Next is the Evergreen EG Pro Design Worm. And this is really like a shad shape worm, uh, sort of. It has, you know, a straight tail, but then it's also got this little funky thing on the front. This looks like a natural color. I don't know what the color's called. It doesn't say anywhere on the packaging, but let me show you. It's very slimy. And this, that's, that's uh, different, isn't it? Yeah, that's different. What's that for, you JDM guys? What do they use that for? A lot of action in that tail. Nice drop shot bait. All right, here is the Duo Realis Spin Bait, which is used for spy baiting. I was always like, why call a spy bait, a spin bait. The duo guys are the original guys, as far as I know. Uh, and then everybody has copied them now. But uh, the duo is really good. This is the spin bait 80 shallow. And this color is ghost gill. There it is up close and personal. Dark back. Blue gill pattern. Little orange there. Really nice, subtle, cold water bait. Will work very well here at Beaver Lake, I'm sure, where I'm at. That's Beaver Lake right there. All right, more owner blockheads. The Midwest Finesse owner blockhead, 132nd of an ounce. You can use this uh, as a Ned Rig bait. You can use it swim bait. You could put this little guy on it if you wanted to. All right, this is by OSP, the high cut. And this is the suspending version. It is two and two fifths inches long. It's one fifth of an ounce. I think this is a great color. Ghost Geisha. You can see it's a little Bet it works. Very cool. All right, check this out. Lucky Craft Japan. This is a little crankbait made in Japan. It's called the Crap P E A. <laughs> uh, this is 34 millimeters long, 3.3 grams. Don't know what the color is called. So it does have two hooks on it. Obviously they're not treble hooks because it's such a small bait. You got a bright chartreuse back, gold with black specks on the side. Look at that, bright pink underneath. Tiny little crankbait. Made in Japan. Two more products. The Mega Bass Pop Max. 
This is the pink lady. How about that? Again, a very natural shad looking popper. Kind of a pearl white back. And you can see how translucent it is. White cup. A little pink in the feather. The pink lady. And the same color, the pink lady in the Mega Bass Vision 110. Pretty cool. Tell me that won't work in the fall. Dude, that's a that's a heck of a bait right there. Okay, that does it for the November Bento box. I'm pretty sure it's November anyway. I hope this was informative and enjoyable. If so, please subscribe to the channel. Smash the like button. I would greatly appreciate it. Until next time, this is Mr. Bass. Happy fishing!